Hey YouTube, welcome to this next video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build a dodecagram coil. Dodecagram coil. Yeah, it's actually pretty freaking cool to know because not only can they be resonantly tuned, I still got to get a math formula built on that, but they can control electromagnetic frequencies in either a positive north or a positive south polarity. They can be wound clockwise, counterclockwise. They can be wound on rings. They can be wound on screws at different phase points. All kinds of potential. <laughs> Got a little excited. All kinds of potential that you can have with the sacred geometry patterns that I have tapped into. All right, so once you learn how to build this decagram coil, you will also start understanding the sacred patterns in this simulation altogether. You will understand how the electromagnetic field lines will work. You will understand how unified field theory truly works because my coil designs, this over unity coil, my coil designs can take phase to an infinite level. Infinite meaning frequencies can be set to infinity. A coil design can be set to infinity as well. It's just a matter of knowing the, the phase points and knowing the turn so, ratio. With that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying my video so far. I am putting the quad wheel generator on the shelf for now because I don't want to give out any secrets just yet. I feel like I'm onto something really big. The generator runs for a very long time with the supercapacitors being hooked up to it. I just want to show you guys how the dodecagram coil works first before I get into fully uh, showing off how the over unit. <coughs> How the free energy generator, how quad core generator works. So, with that being said, here we go. Oh, and um, I'm gonna tell you what so tools you need right now. Designs that so, I already pre-made. It's an 18 point design. Uh, I will show you guys how to build that on another video if you want to. Video description below or in the video comments below, and I'll be happy to do that. All right. So first thing you want is gonna be uh, just a piece of notebook paper. And these are a nice handy dandy little tool that I get from, uh, well, I got it from the hobby store in Pennsylvania. They're called a helix coil or a <laughs> helix stencil. They're good for helping me build these coil designs because if you look closely, it shows this phase point as a 360 degrees instead of 180 degrees, which is kind of a bit more of a pain. All right, so. Now we got our notebook here. We are going to get our stencil. First, you have to understand how I create the phase points. So you have to know that 360 divided by 12 equals 30. What that means, we go by 30 degrees. And we do it all the way around to we're at 360. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this way so that way you guys get a good view of it. I'm gonna make each point at 30 degrees. Right. So now you see my degree points here. Now it's just a matter of numbering. How do I come up with the numbers? So we always have a number one as our starting point, right? And now, so Marco Rodin says that one, eight, three, five, and seven, I believe, eight, five, seven, and four. These are the numbers that you can use to create these infinite patterns with. So remember that? Remember these numbers here? And then so for the coil design, we can either go clockwise this way, or we can go counterclockwise this way. Since we only have 12 points, I'm only going to go by five, and then I will show you how that turns out for the point design. So we'll go, uh, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, 
three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Right? And so now you can put this in order going from one, two, three, three, four, five, and so on. All right, so first things first, we'll go from one to two. And we'll go from two to three. Let's get back to one, but I wanna check out how to do this. Now, when you draw this out right, you can actually bring it to life. Pretty neat, right? Magnetic polarities. Goes pretty cool with the neck. You can look at it. In my Etsy store as well, I'm selling them. I have a lot of different designs along with Orgon, Organite pyramids and all that kind of cool stuff. So, in conclusion... Um, this right here is what happens when you combine the artwork together. The more layers you have, the more magnetic potential you have. Um, now, I will give an update on how much voltage can be produced with one of these coils, but uh, instead for this video, I decided to show you how you can build one for yourself and test it out for yourself because these coils can be built at different resonant frequencies, like a Tesla coil, but they, get, but they can be created in infinite variations. So I hope this video helped incline you into understanding how important it is to know the laws of three, six, and nine, understanding Marco Rodin's duplication en enneagram and his discoveries on the unified field theory as well. I would appreciate it if all of you would take a second to subscribe to this channel, give this give this video a thumbs up, feel free to comment below and let me know what you think. I do not believe there is many other people besides Tesla and Marco Rodin that have created new art forms like this that can control energy and potentially create new polyphase energy systems that could potentially control and rework our entire paradigm that we're living now. So catch you later, YouTube. Peace.